Now, there are more questions than answers after an El Paso man appeared in a press conference in North Korea today. It's an event that's making national headlines. ABC 7's Pilar Arias joins us live to explain. Pilar. Luke and Ashley, 29-year-old Arturo Martinez says he illegally crossed into North Korea, but he's not being detained and is now seeking asylum in Venezuela. Today, I couldn't find friends or family to talk about the man, but his mother has previously told the media that Martinez is bipolar and mentally unstable. Yes, ma'am. Not right now. Please do not film. Thank you. That was a response I got today when I visited the last known address for Martinez here in El Paso. A neighbor confirmed Martinez's mother, known as Patti, lives at the home. Patti has said Martinez was in California at a psychiatric ward hospital. When he got out, he took out a payday loan online before leaving for China. She says the U.S. Embassy in Beijing was looking for her son. During the press conference this morning, the El Paso native strongly criticized the U.S. for alleged human rights violations. One man I spoke with says he believes the last time he saw Martinez was about five years ago, and his behavior didn't seem odd. No, he, he wasn't too fixing computers. That was it. And the last time I spoke to him, he said he was going to L.A. Martina says he entered North Korea this time around by crossing the river border with China. And his mother says this is not his first attempt to enter the country. I'll tell you more about that tonight on ABC 7 at 10, and you'll hear from Martinez himself. Back to you. All right, Pilar, thank you. Looking forward to your report at 10.